Welcome back, guys. Hope everyone's having a great day. So, I wanted to test a few things to see how they work in the Tesla. So, for starters, I want to see how fast you can actually go while using FSD. Right now, I have it set to 82, speed limit is 70. Let's go all the way up, and it looks like I'm capped out at 85. So 85 is about as fast as it's going to let you go with FSD. Clearly, it still limits the speed based on the vehicles in front of you and traffic flow and everything like that. So it's still safe to use. It's just letting the system know that 85 is the absolute maximum you can go while on FSD. Which leads me to my next question. What if you go past that? Like if I just apply pressure on the pedal, does it let me continue or is it just going to shut down? I am being safe. I want to, like, just be very clear on that. I'm being safe. I'm being responsible. I keep getting comments of people saying that I'm irresponsible or that I'm not being safe or that I'm, like, wh whatever it is, like, I'm not, I'm not just going to put other people's lives in jeopardy on this. I know I'm in control of the vehicle. I know I st I'm still responsible for anything that happens. And these are just tests. So it's not like this is how I drive every day. I just wanted to put that out there for those of you who are actually watching and listening to everything I say. Yes, I'm being safe and responsible. I just want to, I want to test the limits. I want to see how far we can push this technology right now. And I got to say like 85, that's, that's fast. For a car that's driving and trolling itself without me having to do any input, 85 is a really fast speed. But can it handle faster? Okay, so traffic's cleared up a little bit. I am in the passing lane, currently going 85, so let's just see what happens. Hands on the wheel to be safe, and start going fast. Actually, I'll wait until after this turn. Okay, here we go. 86, 87. Yep, okay. 88 is max speed before it cuts you off. And now it is completely blocked off. Auto steer is unavailable for the remainder of the drive. Which, it makes sense. You know, you're going to drive it responsibly. It's not going to let you keep going. So, that's, that's a good feature. Now I want to see if it still lets you use the other settings as well. Auto steer beta does not work. Traffic aware cruise control. Okay. Traffic aware cruise control does still work. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so we're coming up to a stop here. I wonder if this will count as like stopping the drive. So we'll go here, I'm going to put it in park, back on, and can I do auto steer now? Or actually, do I have the right setting enabled? Yeah, full self driving is on, yes, auto steer temporarily unavailable, hmm. Hey, there we go, alright, we're back in. So yeah, if you go past the speed limit, it cuts you off. You have to come to a complete stop, put it in park, put it in drive again so that you can use it again. I'm surprised that didn't actually count as a strike towards driving. Now there's one final thing I want to test before the drive's over. I want to see what happens if you forget to put the car in park and then you try to get out of the vehicle. Oh man, I'm going to be late for work. Hope they don't fire me. I'm not making enough off of YouTube to get fired yet. All right, pulling into the parking lot now. Let's just go ahead and pull in here. No brake, no nothing. Take my seatbelt off. And it immediately parks. Vehicle automatically parked to prevent roll away. Nice. I like it. 
Thanks for watching. I was not being reckless, although I know you guys are going to say I was. Um, either way, appreciate the views. Peace.